Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to implement the carousel feature in Amazon Connect using Lex version 2. Uh, before moving, uh, a simple request or simply a request for every uh, content creator videos that you watch, right? Uh, do subscribe to their channel, it's free for you, but it does help the creator. Uh, this is the status of mine, where 89% are not subscribed while they have watched. Okay, so uh, let's move to the task that we are here. What we are doing is over here we are uh, going to implement the carousel feature. Uh, this is going to be the same replica of that we done for the Lex V1. Uh, the description or the link of that video is also given in the description section of this video. So we are going to implement something like this. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, what we need is in Amazon Connect, uh, we will point to our intent or the bot, right? So this is the main menu, IVR bot, which is in Lex V2 we are using. So I will go over here and I have an intent like book a flight. So in that, uh, what? Okay, let me resign. Okay, I have signed in. So over here, uh, we have to create two intents. One I have created book of flight, right? And I will give her a training phrase, which will be from, oops, this is also going to, just a second guys, this some, sign in is asking. Okay, anyway. So we are back with the glitch is once it's over. Okay, now we are here. Now what we required is uh, we need a training phrase and we have to use training phrase like this because so over here it mentions, right? Once the user selects something in that option. So let's say if user select uh, purchase ticket right so we don't get a purchase ticket as a response right but we get something like a template identifier then the list title and then selected text right so what we have to do is uh, we have to remove those extra special characters and uh, give the training phrase like this right so I will give the training phrase like this okay now one thing to notice over here is if you see the options right so if i go back to the ui that we have we are doing something like this right so over here the book of flights is common for both right but only thing is changing is which state california or new york right so either we can create a slot for book of flight uh, or we can create a slot for state name I will suggest go for the state name, but it depends upon what are the options that you have. Okay. So for this case, we are using state names, which will be a slot, right? So I'll just click save over here. And uh, I have already created slot type state name, right? And it has only two uh, parameters. One is California and one is New York. Okay. So back to our intent. right so the training phase that we added is over here and I will select this one not whole and select as state California right that will be our state name so this is done for uh, book of light now we have to do the same thing for what was the name Book hotels okay so we will do for oops where is my legs okay yeah. book hotels I will remove this phase and click add and in this we will have the training phrase which will be book hotels do I have book hotels training phrase somewhere over here Again, this Lambda is also present in the GitHub and the description of that or the link for that GitHub is given in that uh, YouTube description section. 
okay uh, so we will add this over here and we will select this text as state name which is our custom entity what the validation error director slot name what just happened it can't have that space it's saying no worries we will edit that we will keep the California one and since it's a, a slot I don't think it will matter whatever the training phase that we are giving okay now if I click save it should save right okay so now let's do a build over here meanwhile over here uh, in our uh, JSON carousel right so what have will happen usually what is the use case we have is once users say help right uh, so if I why the slot lamp can be in that uh, uh, isn't bad lit. Uh, the slot name does not exist. Okay, so let's see what is going on. It says that in the slot we have two slots. How come we have two slots? Oh, okay, so we have two with the same value. So that is the why. So we save the slot and let's do build again. Hopefully this time it should be okay. No. The slot California in utterance blah 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 in Bugut is invalid. The slot name doesn't exist. Oh, okay, so maybe we have not added properly. Let's go back to intents. Book uh, sorry, book a hotel it was. book a hotels and there is the training phase and oh, it's not added as a slot why 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 okay let's do control C delete control V Again, go back, select California, 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 California. Go back to Lex, paste, delete, save, and then select the state name as California. Finally, the build is successful. We'll go back over here, okay? And uh, this uh, JSON file, right? We have copied from here, and then we have modified uh, in the previous video for Lex V1. So I just copy pasted over here, right? So the look and feels will remain the same. So once you just say help, right? We have to display this JSON carousel, right? So that we will display. Now once users select that, right, uh, we will go over here and uh, so once users select, right, uh, as we done in the Lex V1, we have to again go back to the Lambda and from there we will send back the response as a close intent, right. So let me just quickly select this one, save and uh, click test. Uh, settings okay it is pointing to my Lex which I required so let's do a build meanwhile is it getting built right uh, over here in the Lex v1 we had to handle the slots into session attribute we don't have to do anything over here we just have to just click deploy now once it is deployed right uh, what I will do is over here in my uh, uh, Amazon connect site right 
so one is book a flight another one is book hotel right so that is the intent i will click save for book hotels we will directly go and for book a flight right if user selected uh so since in from the lex v1 we are coming all these status so we will have all this uh, uh variable names uh we will continue to use the same and we will just display the same thing right so over here what state user have selected uh, california or new york that will get selected we will be storing into this variable and then i think we are playing it back that you have selected book intent and the state name that's it nothing much nothing fancy let me do a publish meanwhile check okay so this is also build done and just test it out okay so click over here we'll type help okay so we are getting the two options in the carousels right so if i select a book flight from the california i should get this is hard coded one and this is the california which is a slot which is being recognized right let's test it out for the new york also uh, let me type help and uh, book flight okay so we are getting the correct intent and also the correct entity or the slot that we say so yeah this is how we can implement uh, the carousel feature in lex uh, v2 hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day